coming to doshas. So these are the most fundamental theory in Ayurveda. Most fundamental theory is the universe is made up of five basic elements of nature. You all know that Panja Mahabhudas, we call it. The whole of the universe is made up of Prithvi, Tejas, Vayu and Akasha, which is earth, water, fire, air and space. These are the five basic elements of nature. Apart from these five, there is nothing in the universe. Either any solid thing which is there in the world is made up of earth, the heavy matter. Water is anything that is liquid. Fire is anything, you can see the fire, which transforms objects. Air is the one which is responsible for all the movements and space. Without space, there is no existence. So these are the five basic elements of nature. And according to cosmic theory of universe, they call it as, as is the macrocosm, so is the microcosm. So just like the universe, human body is very similar to the universe. Universe is the microcosm, human body is the microcosm, which means it is same. So apart from anatomy, your heart, kidneys, liver, brain, everything, human body as such is made up of this Manjama Buddhas, five basic elements of nature. That's what I have written, earth, water, fire, air and space. Even human body, it is condensed in three. Some people might be knowing about these three words, Vata, Pitta and Kappa. The air and space, which is lighter comparatively than the other three, that forms into Vata. We can just put it as principle of mobility. So air and space combine to form Vata, which means principle of mobility. Your movements internal as well as external. That is because of Vata. All the functions in your body, your enthusiasm, your cleverness, everything is because of Vata. And the fire forms us, Pitta. Fire inside you is metabolic energy. It is energy of metabolism, principle of transformation. Whatever food you take, by this digestive fire, it gets digested, mixed with your body, gives you energy. That is principle of transformation of cells. And the heavy part, earth and water, is formed as Kapha. Kapha is responsible for your nutrition, for your nourishment. It is a, gives you stability in your body. That is principle of preservation. So in short, if you correlate to a modern aspect, we can call it Kapha as, as your anabolic energy, Pitta as your catabolic energy, and Vata as your dynamic energy. So Vata, Pitta and Kapha are there in every human being. One takes care of your nutrition, your health, one takes care of your transformation, digestion of the food, and this one takes care of your all the functions, bodily functions. So as long as these three are there in normal condition, you are healthy. If this goes up normally, you get diseases. So that is the major basic principle of Ayurveda. So how does it get abnormal? Very well, normal and abnormal things like that. So you must be wondering how does this get abnormal by your own food and activities. Suppose you take more of earth and water kind of food, which is very heavy, fatty food, meat, like uh, more of non-vegetarian, including a lot of oil, fat, these kind of things. What happens? Kapha increases in the body. The earth and water content in the food makes Kapha increases in the body, thus leading to diseases because of overnutrition, overnourishment, which can include diabetes, cholesterol, or blocks in your system, fatty liver, this kind of changes. So Kapha increases causing all these diseases. Suppose you take more of heaty nature of food, fried food, spicy food, sour food, these are all adding up more heat in yourself. Those are the food which are responsible for things, diseases because of Pitta. Some example like skin diseases or body heat, formation of pus, fever, this jaundice, all these are examples of diseases of Pitta. That's why if you get jaundice, you don't eat more of tamarind and spicy food. You have to cut down all these things to bring down Pitta. Heat. Vata, I told you, is dry and light in nature. Typical example for Vata, the best common disease is P-A-I-N, pain. All pain because of back pain or arthritis, stroke, everything is because of Vata. If you see air and space, lighter particle and it is dry, not like other areas. If you take nuts or fried food more, 
people having arthritis get more pain because vata is causing the pain you are again increasing vata that's why the pain is there your body it increases even if you go to cold like amaron islands or anything islands you get the pain if you have a joint pain it increases because coldness or even under the aircon you don't have to go there if you sit for aircon you get the pain in the head or the pain increases in your body because air and space you see it is more cold in nature than fire so that is why vata increases pain increases so in short if you say vata pitta and kapha if it is normal in your body you are healthy if it is abnormal then you get this